Tonight, dealing with damage from Imelda. Beaumont ISD administrators think insurance will cover more than $10 million in storm related costs. We watched as those floodwaters shut down Fell Price and Beaumont United campuses for weeks. Tonight, the school board voted to approve purchasing materials to remediate the campuses. Tyler Segerman is live outside the administration building with a closer look at the cost. Yeah, we saw the water and we knew it was bad. And tonight, for the first time, we're seeing the connection from Amelda's damage costs. It's been a long month for the Beaumont Independent School District. They've had to battle repairs while trying to keep kids in school. We have rules that we have to follow purchasing laws where we would have to actually bid something out before we spend it. Cheryl Hernandez is the district's chief financial officer. She presented a report to the school board Thursday showing how much damage BISD received. Any windstorm damage or wind driven rain damage, the, the repairs that we've done, we've had to, to pay for them out of pocket. That wasn't the case this time because the board declared a state of emergency after the storm, meaning these two items, remediation work and replacement of furniture, were able to be purchased quickly. The board approved those purchases during the meeting, but there are some costs that aren't covered. We've had a lot of surprises along the way, <laughs> and we deal with them as they come. I mean, you, ne you never know once you uh, tear something out. Hernandez says $8 million worth of property was lost, including $2 million in textbooks. Yet, with insurance covering most of the damage, the district anticipates upgraded buildings. They'll look newer than what they had in the past, and, and with the upgrades, it'll be good for our students. Now, Hernandez tells me it's still unclear if the district will pay more in the coming future out of pocket. Now, with their flood insurance, though, they estimate the deductible is around at $2 million. Now, money is one thing, but these school officials are just simply glad that their kids are back in school. Live in Beaumont, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.